Margaret River is a predominant viticultural region in Australia, and that's why we're here today testing this new technology. I'm Miranda, and I'm a research scientist currently working on an Australian first project looking at the applicability of electric weed control within Australian systems. One of these systems is viticulture, where weeds are an issue with growing rates of herbicide resistance and also social pressure to reduce chemical usage. It's Jim Campbellclaws here from AHA Viticulture. We're a vineyard management company based in the southwest, doing lots of work including Mugger River, the Geograph region, and the Blackwood region. So we've been lucky enough to be involved with this weed control trial. Traditionally in vineyards, we use herbicides, undervine, we slash in the mid rows. To help with weed control, sometimes we use sheep while the weeds are dormant. And that's worked really well, but there's some pressure to change issues with herbicide resistance, particularly with glyphosate and particularly with ryegrass. That's become quite problematic. We've also got some problem weeds that are difficult to control and the, the range of herbicides seems to get less and less products available. There's obviously some resistance with use of chemicals. A lot of vineyards are quite near urban areas, so we have to be pretty careful about chemical use practices and for alternatives for weed control. In this project, we're partnered with Ag Extend, who are hoping to commercialise this machinery here in Australia in coming years. And the machine we're actually using in these trials is known as the x power which is produced by the German company Zasso. Early results of our trials have been promising, with electric weed control shown to be comparable to other strategies used within viticulture, including mowing and herbicide applications. So therefore, we can see an immediate applicability for electric weed control within viticulture systems. The trials have been running for a couple of seasons. We've seen the machinery work and the early results have been very promising, particularly encouraged by the control that we've got. We got involved with this weed electrocution trial, non-chemical way of treating weeds. So yeah, we've been very positive with the results so far. 